Good morning, America. Steve Bison here in Casey, South Carolina, Casey Mafia, every Friday, 7 o'clock. This week, uh, Nicole Quinn is here with us with Go Foods Incorporated. Uh, it's mainly dehydrated foods, and, and she has a time today to discuss this with the Casey Mafia this morning. And Nicole, tell us about your company. Um, we sell dehydrated food. Uh, that have, most of our products have a shelf life of 25 years, and we also sell uh, various other products as well. Um, and the number one thing about our company is our food quality is excellent. Um, we have uh, some of the best ingredients out there in dehydrated foods. Okay, cool. thank you. I have to talk about, now, eliminate this myth that you were telling me about this popcorn you <laughs> pour in the water and it pops. That's not true, is it? No, that's okay, not true. Okay, I just want to make sure. I okay. think some crazy guy made that up. <laughs> okay, Friday, June, June 29th. Casey, South Carolina. Anytime you're coming through South Carolina, feel free to join us here at Shawnee's next to the airport. Until next week, Steve Ice will sign a call. Thanks. That was good. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to be quick. Want? First you off, I do not sell dehydrated popcorn or dehydrated water. <laughs> hey, Bill, pay yeah, attention. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, I, we, we, most of our products have a 25 year shelf life, um, except for the baked goods. Um, the difference between our food and most of the other foods out there that are dehydrated, um, MREs and a lot of the stuff you find at camping stores, uh, we have no genetically modified, no hydrogenated oil, no trans fat, and no added MSG. We also have uh, lactose free, gluten free, and soy free products as well. And our stuff tastes really good. Um, the price of our food is about the same as the others, um, so if you can get better quality and better tasting food, why, you know, why not? Um, I ha we also sell uh, the Hiker um, water filters and then the big um, gravity-fed uh, Berkey water filters. Uh, we sell non-hybrid garden seeds, and um, I have a list of all the different price sheets and also packages. We have packages from $50 all the way up to $4,000 plus. And the more you buy, the, the cheaper it is per serving. And um, it's not, uh, that people say, well, what would you buy it for? There's a number of reasons. You know, we could have some kind of catastrophe. Um, some camp people use it for camping, reenactments. Um, some people who have limited storage space, um, it takes up a lot less space than canned goods because you don't have the cans and the water, et cetera, et cetera. So you can fit a lot more food and servings in a smaller space. And uh, it's very convenient. And um, I'm trying to think of what else. These would be great for when the feds have surrounded your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it would be great if you could have got kids. kids. What's that? Uh, you no, know, kids. You travel across country with your kids. Yeah. And uh, like my family goes down to Trip Island each year. Uh huh. That's a three-hour drive, and my brothers and sisters they've got anywhere from two to six kids in the car. Uh huh. Um, just get give them that munch on and tell them to shut up and watch a movie. They 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 cheat. They've got the DVD players. And when I was growing up, you had board games. You had books. And you had rock, paper, scissors, and you had the uh, slug bug. Yeah. You know, where you <laughs> find the slug out of the window. Yes, Ross so, has um, a question. While you're here in Brain, Steve is saying that he wants to get an order from you so that next time he goes to Louisiana and Chile, he can take some of those for her to eat on the trip. Okay. <laughs> it yeah. is good for traveling, yeah. like and, instead of going. He, he, he ain't brave enough. And, and good luck with that shut up and watch the movie line with Julie. Yeah. Because if you, try, if you try to pack food, you know, when you're packing and you're traveling, you know, space is a big issue. And you can just throw this stuff in a bag and you can fit a lot of meals in a bag and just, you know, take it and go. So well, well, on, on the flight from here to Atlanta, which is not long enough to even serve coffee, would that pass uh, security going through the airport? I have no idea. Okay. I'm the wrong person. Well, one day next well, well, they won't allow you. They won't allow you to take it from uh, uh, It probably would, I'm guessing, because it's uh, food and know. there's no liquid oh, in it. Um, but I, I don't know for sure, so you have to check with. Also, if, it, if anybody needs a, a house with a shelter, an underground shelter, there is one for sale up on Augusta, Augusta Street in West Columbia. Okay. 
And when you get a buyer, oh. you can send them to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. Actually, yeah. actually, yeah. actually yeah. I've heard of it. Yeah. I've yeah. heard of the thing. I got a lot of people have a shop, really? They have yeah. old barn the backyard. They're like wine cellars. Uh -huh. got and cafes. Four foot of dirt on top. Wine tasting restaurants. And uh -huh. around here. Well, I've had people, it's not just for the worst case scenario. Like, you know, some people stock up. and go down the street and look to the right. Have you, uh, have you, have you, uh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought I'd just go back. I had They had ready to go. Is there a, um, with MREs, you can get a heat source. Is there a heat source or somebody to prepare them or you have to take a pot and stir it? Um, I don't think that would pay. How do you, how do you heat these? These aren't MREs, <laughs> you these know, aren't MREs but right. most of the stuff um, to make it, you want to you basically just boil water and add this to it. So but you need a pot and a heat source. Is there any kit? Yeah, that I comes mean, with that, that you, you that? it's some of it you don't need to cook it. So you know, theoretically, you could yeah. just eat it as is. But if you restored it for a, a disaster, hurricane, or wherever, we didn't uh -huh. have power for several. In the military, right. is there yeah. any way? Is, is there a heat source yeah. that? Because yeah, you can buy one of my rocket stoves. <laughs> we don't supply heat source products. We do supply the water fillers um, so that you can take water from almost anywhere and put it through our gravity-fed water filler. But Ross has a, a you know, yeah. a, a Weston brings up a great idea for you to, to market, you know, market something that like that to go with it, like his stoves. Yeah, you can okay. get, you can get, make your own. You can be called, you can order a private label of, of like Sterno. And when you sell some of this, you can sell some of that to go with it, and, and you don't have to share that. Just call it famous. Or I could yeah. just give them some match, you know, some matches. <laughs> 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 yeah, but he, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's so the wrong brand of Sterno, like have famously you got it, hot. Have you got it? Have you got it? No, this, I don't manufacture this, I, I meant to say that. This is fresh packed in Utah with ingredients, um, it's, it's all fresh packed here and they're very, very strict about the ingredients and where they come from and what's in them. And that's one of the reasons I started selling it is because of the non-genetically modified. I don't know if y'all know what that means, but that's real important to me. And um, that's another reason I like our seeds, they're non-hybrid so that you can keep Basically, it's an acre's worth of food, um, and you just take the seeds and you just keep replanting. And so you order from them, and they yeah, it's a it's a drop ship. It's sort of like Avon, like you know, you're a representative selling their products. I'm I'm an independent um, distributor um, where I sell their products, and you I have a website and I have it on all the literature, and you just go there and you order it and you have it sent right to your house. If you want to have a party at your house, like a Tupperware party kind of deal, I'll come to your house and cook for you. Um, people can sample the food, and as long as they order a minimum amount of food total, um, you get 10% off your purchase. Um, and get some good ones. Um, they range in price. Um, the soups are $8.95, or I'm sorry, $7.95 for four servings. And then the more you buy, the price of the serving goes down. I have an idea. I want to talk to you about it later. Okay. Okay. But well, I want to. But have you also thought of? Um, so I don't know if you have to yeah, go to the company in Utah. Is that your unit? Thought about no, selling this as a uh, World War II collector's piece. Camping uh, place. Uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I've talked to a number of people. Well, I, I have to be careful. Yeah, I can't I mean, it looks um, like the chains and all that. Like they have all these rules and copyrights and, 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 and blah, blah, blah. You can't, you know, do certain things. Like, you know, we're independent distributors. But if somebody has, like, a mom and pop store, they can sell this. They can become a distributor and sell this. And it's very inexpensive to a yeah, that's, that's what that's, this is. Uh, the range something moved yeah. out there on the line street. Well, I don't want to hold everybody out, so. Nicole, like, you, you, yes. you want to tell everybody what your website is for Go Foods? Um, yeah, it's um, alwaysbeprepared.mygofoods.com. So uh, if anybody wants to check it out, go to my website. Everything's on there, the prices, and then we also have a breakdown of the contents and the ingredients. 
and then they'd also have um, indicated uh, the various different um, codes on some products are gluten free, for example, or dairy free, et cetera, et cetera. So, check Nicole, it out. could you have a, a an Avon combo party with the goat products? I will have any kind of combo that party. Way. Are there that way? That are way there way Avon products, products that are people before they eat? Are there, sure. are there Avon products that are survivalist friendly that would um, really dehydrated? <laughs> That's not. Yeah, we actually sell so um, Avon sells a lot of cooking related items. Skin um, so and um, yeah. yeah, for uh, like some people use skin to soft for bug health or health. It's, it's not yeah. technically meant for that. But people use it. Yeah, we have stuff in there. So I also Avon. sell whole um, an Avon prepper kind of a. I sell party. whole food vitamins and essential oils too, which ties you, you, in. You, you, it so, uh, has a lot of good men. If I'm not mistaken, those seeds, but I eat Mary Now you correct me if I'm wrong. Those seeds don't have to be planted uh, next year or the year after. They keep for several years. You can those freeze them. Seeds, right. right. When they're unopened, I think the shelf life in the package is about five years. Yeah. But once you open them, whatever you don't use, um, a lot of people and put them in the freezer. Most diehard survivalists have them because. <coughs> when the when the big bang happens, uh -huh. they'll go to a secluded place in the mountains somewhere, and they'll have some seeds. To start yeah, it's definitely good to have the extra off. seeds. Um, well, there's a yeah. the, the, the I don't know if it's our government or our multiple governments, but there's up in Norway or Sweden, they've got a big seed bank. Oh, sure. You know, in mm -hmm. in ice. Even just for economical <laughs> reasons too, because if you do our price per serving and you go to the grocery store. You'd be surprised how much more oh, you're very and much healthier that our food is than in the grocery store. And then the seeds, you know, of growing your own garden, um, you know, and I recommend people get started now, not waiting. Are until you required to charge sales tax? Yes. I'm so sorry. I know. I'm sorry too. You know, you talk about you talk about mom and pop stores, but Rosewood Market is locally in. Okay. You might want to try that. Okay, thank you for the tip. Those with dairy market and um, yeah, they got they got some great food there. Oh, okay, this is a fun trip. Yeah. Have you considered selling ammunition? Yeah, yeah, she has. <laughs> the girl I, has. I think she's considering it right now. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. I already have four businesses, and that's enough for me. So. I'll keep, I'll keep that in mind. Because uh, yeah. I can always order bulk ammunition. Yeah, you need, am you need ammunition we'll, we'll in store. Okay, you can see what it's about. And actually, what I was thinking is if you want to have a party, I can, because that's all I can run out of ammo. Mm -hmm. so I can do a thing, a thing party where you, you show your thing, and then I, I do my, my, my show sure my own thing. We can watch the show together, and then I give away like a $25 gift basket of. To the one that with the okay. Do you have any dehydrated life insurance? Or dehydration life insurance. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. if you get dehydrated, the insurance yeah. yeah. covers you. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, All right, well, if anybody else has any questions, uh, let me know. I have handouts over here. Let's, let's get a cold rattle ball, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for listening to me.